Jody called me <laughs> and said, Victor wants what? I said, I'll play it for you again. And I did. <laughs> Tree Fitty. He wants Tree Fitty for Derrick Henry. And he didn't even get close. And he didn't get close. Nope. Which is why we have a very specific but random musing of... Given the fact that the Ravens pulled off the stunner of stunners to get Derrick Henry in the offseason, and you would think that they would run over Cleveland for Tree Fitty for Derrick Henry alone, and it didn't happen, mm -hmm. this will. All yours, partner. Go. So I am going to stop doing these projections when I hear about these blockbuster <laughs> trades. <laughs> Especially a... when it comes to running backs. And here's <laughs> why. I know this is going to be fun. Last year, <laughs> when the Philadelphia Eagles made this steal of the century mm -hmm. and got DeAndre Swift from the Lions, yes, I thought, Nothing's going to stop the Eagles because they now have one of the best running backs out there. Yep. And they're going to run away with the division. And it didn't happen. <laughs> Mainly Don't you because... have a buzzer? Uh, he has a I few. Do. And if I will get a moment to pull this up. Take your time. Um, it's going to be a slow cook. So It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a slow cook. So what in the world did wait I wait here we go. I got a better I got a better button for Victor. All right, keep the going. Eagles snatched DeAndre Swift. Thought DeAndre Swift would get fifteen hundred. Then the Eagles told us Shut up, fool. And, I did it wrong. Then the Eagles told us Shut up, fool. and relied on Jalen Hurts, who is still not all the way back. Nope. And then this happened to the Eagles season. Exactly. There, how's that? And it was mainly because of Siliani. <laughs> For some reason, Nick oh. Skinny Jean Siliani figured we don't need to run anymore after they went on an absolute tear at the beginning of the season. There you there go. Is. They went on an absolute the... tear and then fell apart because they started to rely more on Jalen Hurts, even though DeAndre Swift was right there. Who I still feel has regressed. <clears throat> Jalen hurt their season. Now this season. Shut up. <laughs> now this season. Where the Baltimore Ravens, again, had what I considered the steal of the century. You got King Henry. Derrick Henry, the man that got, I believe it was 12,000 yards. <laughs> In high school, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. was running up and down and abusing people when he was a Tennessee Titan. Yep. And the main reason why the Titans are kicking themselves in the ass and will forever kick themselves in the ass is why on earth do you let him go? And the main reason why you do this is because you want to take pressure off of Lamar Jackson. Fairly simple thing, makes a lot of sense. Yep. And then you roll into Cleveland. <laughs> there's after, just something. There's just something about the way Victor says that. And then you run into Cleveland. Cleveland. And it's a trend that I started in saying it that way. And I'm gonna run, I'm gonna bring up the stat right here and tell me how sickening this is. Oh dear. Do you know how many touches Derrick Henry had all game? No, um, I think I it was. A, it. I think it was eleven. Eleven. That's 11 it. Eleven for seventy-three, and he had a touchdown. Late. How many times Five. did Lamar tuck it himself? Just, just hit it. Just, eight just times contest. for eight. forty-six yards. <laughs> Lamar Jackson 
eight carries. Not to mention that through most of the second quarter, Derrick Henry didn't see a lick. It got so bad, I literally checked and scoured Google to see if there if there was some sort of injury to Derrick Henry. Mm-hmm. We was. all did. We all yeah. did. I'll tell you what you found. You found nothing. Ing. Thank you. <laughs> this is a mess. And and both Jordan and I have said that if Baltimore loses to Cleveland, you throw the season Something. away. Yeah. <laughs> you made as a team, you made Jameis Crab Legs Winston look like he was back in Tampa Bay throwing touchdowns. 334 yards for Jameis Winston. How many? 334. 334? 334? On 27 three catches. Jameis Crab Legs Winston. I yeah. love. Oh that. yeah, and he had two rushing yards. Yep, two crab legs. So One. watching three and out, three and out, three and out. I almost made. I made a solemn vow. I will probably never cover another Baltimore Ravens game because <laughs> you wanted well, this. Well, one. You will have to because next week the Cowboys play the Falcons and Kirk Two Chains Cousins. This was so embarrassing. Not just as because I'm not the biggest Raiders fan. I'm gonna let y'all know that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I am a huge Derrick Henry Henry fan. Same. And we talk about gross Same. misuses. We of course talk about yeah, Andre uh, Swift, Andre Swift with Philly and possibly with Zeke. Chicago, mm -hmm. uh, Zeke. But now we gotta say about Derrick Henry because what are the Ravens doing? Not a Three separate times, especially within the second or third quarters. Three separate times. I don't think they even had two minutes of possession time because it went three and out. Nope. Nope. Because they three did not. consecutive passes that were incomplete by Lamar Jackson. Sounds like Prescott last uh, last night. Bad. In the drive of the game. And I hate to say it, but we all got to cover a Ravens game December first. Well, yeah. oh, well, now, but now that's called us in the question because when we this whole, when we talked about how great December first was going to be, we thought we, we thought about how amazing it would be to see Derrick Henry in a Ravens uniform, and then we found out that we're going place. against Saquon Barkley, who is now mm. our Eagle. Mm -hmm. So we're thinking it's going to be you know easy two hundred and fifty yards. You know, per running back. And we'll be done with that game in about, what, two hours? Exactly. Roughly. But now look at what we're seeing, particularly from the Ravens. Now, the Eagles, they did their thing. <clears throat> they let Saquon Barkley loose. Mm-hmm. They but turned here, him loose. But here you have... Because they realized Jalen Hurts is... Yeah. yeah. I mean, Jalen, the count... Jalen... Uh, you know, accounted for all four of the touchdowns that Philly had, but Saquon went off for 22 carries, a buck eight. And I, I question who do I blame for this? Is this Harbaugh or is this Lamar Jackson not one to share the spotlight? Well, also, well, also you got to remember, it's not just Harbaugh making the calls, it's Monken too. Right. Mm -hmm. The offensive coordinator. And let me, let me quote something that Monken said. He said, I am determined to make Jackson a five-step drop pocket passer. Good luck you know with what, that. Good you know what you that. do in that situation? You know what you do in that situation? You start establishing the run. Mm -hmm. You let that, That's Derrick the idea Henry, of the West Coast offense. You let Derrick Henry do his thing. Make those guys put extra run blitzers in to stop the run and then you set the play action where you can give Lamar Jackson those five steps yeah you set it up to have seven in the box for defense and then blow it over the top of them because you know, if that in one quarter last night because mm -hmm. after watching the game Lamar Jackson barely had enough time for two and a half steps instead of five mm -hmm. you, yeah, know because did, you know who did that expertly in the third quarter last night for Oxford Yep. It, it's becoming embarrassing in Baltimore when games that you should be blowing the 
doors off teams. You are barely mm-hmm. by. And then in this one where you get embarrassed. Embarrassed with a capital E M B by the they should have blown the doors off because because they were busy blowing the doors off of Dallas before they let Prescott back in the ball game. I mean, honestly, I'm gonna just say this: you probably could have had Deshaun Watson in, but the game would have been the same. No, no, you probably would have had because 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 here's the thing. There was so much of a difference in time possession between the mm-hmm. Browns and the Ravens that you probably could have given Deshaun Watson multiple more opportunities. He probably still would have lucked his way into a couple touchdowns. I agree with that. There, it, there was no control of the ball at all. None. And this is supposed to be the front runner for the AFC. It's not yeah, looking no. like it. Not while Kansas City's around. It's not looking like it. I mean, come on here. They they lost to Oakland of all teams early this season. I when mean, that should have been a blowout. With the way they look, they probably would probably get beat up by the Jacksonville Jaguars at this point. Oh God. Oh the land of AEW. Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks would have V triggered Lamar's ass. This seems like for some reason you went out of your way mm-hmm. to get Derrick Henry and you're too scared to use him. Why does that sound so familiar? And Half the I NFL is too scared to use their running backs. That because the Ravens took an L, the Steelers now lead the AFC North. Oh, dear God. The AFC Norris division is led by Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh by and Russell Wilson and the Pittsburgh. And think, think about this. Think what's going to happen when Pittsburgh faces against Baltimore. If things don't change, I already got my answer for that. If matchup. things do not change, you're going to see Mister Unlimited. What's what's, what's going to happen? Victor says when when Pittsburgh. Faces Baltimore. Baltimore. Here's my answer. Damn it! I told you, Shane. You asked for this. <laughs> oh, damn it! So I don't know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. But the Baltimore Ravens, you got humbled. Humble. Humbled. Last night, yesterday. You you got humbled. Humbled. Shiki baby. Love you. You let Jameis Crab Lace Winston <laughs> dog walk y'all throughout the it- entire game. <laughs> James went wonderful. anywhere with deed in hand, the ink being dry. He now owns Baltimore. Hold mm-hmm. on. Because, yes, Lamar, it is you. Yeah. It will it's always, always be you. you. It will it'll always, always be you. you. Forever and ever. And the, the church, church says, amen. amen. And now Cole's got something else to come up with. So I don't know what. No, no, I see that look on your face, Brian. No, and the no. <laughs> Too late. <clears throat> Too late. But like I said, I, I'm gonna stop doing. I'm gonna stop coming with these projections <laughs> because this has gotten ridiculous. The second time that we've had a top tier running back, and y'all making Derrick Henry have buyer's remorse. I think he wants to be back in Tennessee. I think he wants to be back in Alabama. He probably was back. Yeah, probably. Because he he had keyword. Mm-hmm. Had a offense and a coach that believed in him. Had being the operative void. And yet now you have to me what seems to be a team of prima donnas. Uh-huh. Because this seemed like I don't know if there's some beef between Lamar and Derek or something. Because the fact that 
you have Lamar Jackson, you have an opportunity to run side by side with one of the best running backs in the league and take pressure off you so you don't get your ASS beat every single time. Mm-hmm. Keep going. You don't get blitzed half the time. You don't get sacked half the time. Mm-hmm. And yet you are still trying to make things happen with your legs. I don't know if this is just a reflex thing or a train thing. <laughs> Somebody has to take a spot. <laughs> uh-huh. and, to think, and to think that Baltimore still got their two meetings with Pittsburgh. They've yep. got a meeting with Houston, another meeting with Cleveland. And next week, they've got Denver.